In this video, we're going to demo doing inference in R for comparing more than two proportions, in other words, doing a chi-square test of independence. Our data come from some students. These are fourth, fifth, and sixth graders, and they were asked about what's most important to them, so their goals. And they could either answer good grades, athletic ability, or popularity. So for each student, we have data on their grade, which is categorical, and also their goal, which is also categorical. And both of these categorical variables have three levels each. So we can't really do a test of two proportions. We need to do something different, namely the chi-square test of independence. Our research question is whether the student's goals vary by grade. So independence here would mean, our null hypothesis would mean that these goals do not vary by grade. And our alternative hypothesis would suggest that the goals do vary by grade and hence the goal and the grade variables are, independent, are dependent on each other. Let's start by loading the data set. I click on the upload button, locate the file on my computer. It's a CSV file. I import it into R, R Studio, and then the next is to import that data set into my workspace so that it's usable for my analysis. So I locate the file, hit open, I want to make sure that heading is selected as yes so that our studio realizes that the first row is a header row and then I click on import. We'll see that there are many variables in this data set but we're only going to be interested in the grade of the student and the goals of the student. So these two categorical variables are of interest to us. In order to answer this research question we need to do a hypothesis test for which we need our inference function. So let's load that so that once it's loaded, you can see it all in your workspace. In this function, I want to first specify my response variable. That's what the student's goal is. So the data is in the data set called popular. And the name of the variable was goals. And my grouping variable is what grade these students in. So that's once again in the data set called popular. And the name of that variable was grade. I'm estimating proportions here since I am dealing with categorical variables. And I want to do a hypothesis test. And I want to do that using theoretical method to start with. And since I'm doing a chi-square test, and the chi-square distribution is always uh, right skewed, and the chi-square test statistic is always a positive number, my alternative hypothesis is going to be greater than. Let's look at the output of the inference function. First, we can see that both of our response and explanatory variables are categorical. We're working with two categorical variables, and since they have more than two levels, or at least one of them has more than two levels, in this case both, we're doing a chi-square test of independence. The best way to summarize these data is using a contingency table, where we can see how many fourth graders chose grades, popularity, or sports, and the sum of the uh, marginal sums as well as the total sum. So using these, we could calculate many, many proportions, and with the chi-square test, we're going to test all of these against each other. A way to visualize these data is by using a mosaic plot. And we can see that based on the grade, it, there doesn't seem to be too much variation in the percentage that choose grades, popularity, or sports. So this might indicate that the, the chi-square test will not yield a significant result. But let's check and see. Our null hypothesis is that the response and explanatory variable are independent. And the alternative hypothesis is that response and explanatory variable are dependent. In order to check our conditions, our sample size condition for chi-square test, we want to make sure that the expected counts are all greater than 5. So in this case, we can see that in all of these cells, in all nine of these cells, the expected counts are high enough such that we can proceed with um, theoretical method. Our chi-square statistic is calculated as 1.31. Our degrees of freedom is the number of rows minus 1, that would be 3 minus 1 equals 2, times the number of columns minus 1. So 2 times 2, that's where the 4 comes from. And we can look at the chi-square distribution with 4 degrees of freedom, and we can see that a chi-square statistic of 1.3 is really not that unusual a statistic. So the shaded area is quite large, yielding a quite large p-value. 
and hence we would say that we would not reject the null hypothesis here. These data do not provide evidence that goals of students vary by grade. In this setting, we wouldn't do a confidence interval because there is no per one parameter to estimate here. When we're comparing two proportions, we have the difference between the two proportions to estimate, so confidence interval is meaningful. In fact, if I try to change the type argument from HT to CI here, the function would give me an error saying that the categorical variable has more than two levels, confidence interval is not defined, you can only use a test of independence. However, what we can do is do the same test using a simulation approach. And in this case, we're doing something very similar to the randomization case with two categorical variables with two levels, where it's like you're shuffling cards and splitting them into two groups, except in this case, we would be splitting them into three groups. So let's run the simulation, and we can see that our p-value is very, very similar to what we saw before. So we would once again fail to reject the null hypothesis. Once I'm done with my analysis, I want to make sure that all of this is incorporated in my project. So let's go to my knitter file. I have the title. I give some information about uh, my data. I want to make sure I load the data as well as load the inference function. And then in the inference section, I have results from my theoretical as well as simulation-based analysis. I knit the file. And with the addition of the exploratory data analysis, some narrative about why I'm interested in these data, what my findings are, what do my results suggest, and a brief conclusion, I'm done with my project. I hope that this video has been useful for working with R to do inference uh, using chi-square test of independence. Thanks for watching.